Um, I had a little issue with starting the rig. It wouldn't start. Um, shouldn't say this morning. It was actually yesterday. So what I did was I was using my cigarette lighter to charge my hotspot. And so it sat in there for about three weeks. You know, one of the things that people tell you is read your owner's manual. And you know, that is so true. Had I read the owner's manual properly, of course I did read the whole thing, but I forgot about this part. The dashboard is covered by your ignition battery. So if you drain the ignition battery, then it's probably not gonna start the rig. And then I have my auxiliary start over here, okay? And my house or coach batteries are old, so clearly they didn't have enough power or juice to help me start the rig. So I had to charge the battery and get a jump, but I got it started this morning. So I'm gonna be headed out here soon to get some new batteries, but I just wanted to share that newbie mistake with you in case anybody has the same issue. All right, I'll be taping some more later. Today's plan is go to Walmart and get some more Camp Co cleaning stuff. I'm gonna investigate some of the spray wax because the spray wax I think will be good to put on after I get done cleaning up the rig. But the rig is cleaning up beautiful. And uh, just a little bit of elbow grease and uh, I'm borrowing the ladder from one of the folks here at the park. So gonna head to Walmart and then after that, gonna start back at cleaning the rig. So I'll see you then. Just give you a little shot here. This is the clubhouse. And uh, they've been working on the road outside of the RV park so it should be much better than it was I can tell you that because it was pretty bad so I got my air shocks up to 60 psi and um, I hadn't filled those up when I left Florida after I had moved into the rig so it's nice that I've got those up and aired. And my tires, I think my valves are old and wore out. And so I'm gonna get some valve extenders today, hopefully, um, and also price some batteries and see if that takes care of it. Cause I can't air up my tires or check my tire pressures because if, if unless I take off the hubcaps. Um, so if I get those extenders, then that's gonna help me be able to, to, to do some good tire maintenance. You know, my tires are going to age out in about a year. They look good. There's no dry rot. Um, they normally hold, you know, air, air pressure without a problem. So I'm, that's why I'm thinking the, the valve stems are causing me issues. So, and in any event, even if it isn't the valve stems and I need to replace the tires, I'll go ahead and start pricing that out as well. Uh, Cause I really want to have this rig mobile. So that's the plan for today. So I'll be back in touch. Okay. So I'm, uh, just leaving Walmart, headed back to the RV park. I got all my supplies so I can finish washing the rig. And um, I also bought the spray-on wax. I'll show you when I stop driving, but the spray-on wa wax where you wet the surface down and then you spray the wax on and then you just dry the surface off. And it's supposed to give you a nice shine. So, and it's also supposed to protect ultraviolet rays and you know, the weather and whatnot. So it'll be good because I'm sure this rig has not had a wax job in a long time. So in any event, a uh, little drama at Walmart, somebody had put a cigarette out in a bush and the bush caught fire with as hot as it's been down here. And uh, unfortunately we've had no rain for the past couple weeks. So it's pretty dry. Um, there was a big blaze at Walmart so there's a lot of drama going on there but they had people put it out and they had called the fire department anyway uh, I'll, I'll come back to you when I get back to the park and I set up and start washing the rig part of the job is done on this side anyway and that's taken me basically a full day but what you can see here in the Sun I think a little bit is that the wax has really worked well and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and die core that horizontal seam up there. And uh, really the rig looks beautiful. Nice and clean and white, looks great. This side of the rig is done. Now, 
I don't know if this camera is going to pick it up or not, but this thing is nice and shiny and the decals have come out nice with the wax. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it looks so much better. It's so nice and white. And then back here, I did finish the back today and the back looks great. Looks really good. So I'm pretty happy with the whole thing. I might have to re-wax this because it looks a little streaky. So next week I'm going to be doing this side. And this side could use it because it's filthy. And uh, the horizontal seam I die cord for the small little leak I had in the front. The uh, plex the flex bond sufficed, but I had to clean that off because it ended up failing because of the heat and the weather. So now I've got a die cord and, uh, and that looks pretty good. So overall, it's been a very productive day. Um, in terms of the battery, I charged it with a battery charger that somebody had here at the park and uh, started the rig right up. So I know I need some coach batteries and I know I need a new, uh, ignition battery so that's next on my list you know as an RVer you have a list of things that have to be done the canopy's all cleaned up canopy looks good so it's really nice when you get this clean it's just like when you clean your car I think you're just like really very satisfied with the job and uh, it's nice to see all the the green and black mold off the outside of the rig it's nice to see the oxidation gone and now I've got a nice nice exterior finish and it looks good. It actually makes the rig look very pretty. I wanted to go ahead and give you an idea of what products I use today. Um, I was thinking that perhaps um, some of you may want to use these products because they're really good. So let me just show you. This is the Turtle Wax Ice Premium Car Care Spray Wax. Incredible shine without white resi uh, residue. And this stuff worked beautiful. It was so easy to apply and uh, you apply it when the rig is wet and it uh, it waxes up really good and for the cleaner I use the Campco black streak remover and this stuff was amazing it says it removes black streaks bugs tar grease oil dirt from window trim gutter rails grills and much more obviously this is pro strength for RVs as well but this uh, this is really good and a little bit goes a long way so I'm going to go ahead and put these links in the description so that you've got them in the event that you want to go ahead and purchase them from my Amazon affiliate store. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's been a fun day and um, hope you guys are all having a great day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and have a great evening.